All right, welcome everybody. Today we'll be taking a look at what a follow-up boss connection looks like with Sisu. And this is as of July 31st, 2019. Follow-up boss kicked out a couple new Zapier uh, options that allow us to pull data from the deals portion of, uh, of follow-up boss, which is really cool because this lets us get data all the way from uh, appointment set all the way through to closing, and you don't even have to touch CSU, and you're getting a lot of different data points such as uh, commissions and volumes and closing dates and all different kinds of things. Um, this is something that our team sets up for you. There's a lot of zaps and a lot of different things that go on behind here uh, to make it work. Um, we figured it out, and we'll just copy and paste it so that it works on your account. So uh, to show you, I have my uh, client here. It's Bob Marley. Um, you can see that uh, this may be a buyer and a seller lead that I'm working. So this is a more complex scenario, uh, and I'm showing you what that would look like in CSU. Uh, you know, typically you're probably just working the buy side or the sell side, but you can do both. Um, and so everything starts or everything triggers off of these tags that our team will go in and create for you. So appointment set, appointment met uh, on both the buy side and the sell side. So as your agents. Uh, or if you're an agent and as you're setting appointments and meeting with clients, you're going to want to make sure that you go in and add these tags. This is what kicks off the whole process. So as soon as any of these tags are added, um, you will go ahead and see if I pull this back up on my CSU, I can see that because it's a buyer and a seller, I have both a buyer and a seller lead that has been created. Um, this is what it's going to look like right off the bat when it comes in. It's just going to be in your pipeline. You're not going to have a lot of data if you're looking at this top line. You're not going to have a lot of data, um, and you're just going to have that appointment set date, right? And then I can go in um, and add, and, and the reason you're seeing the seller side that's already closed is because I've actually worked a deal over here all the way through, and I've added an appointment met. So I've gotten data on this lead all the way from, uh, you know, appointment set all the way through to closing. I've got my under contract dates, my settlement dates. That's really good for reporting in CSU. Uh, it's pulling your lead source from follow up boss as well. Uh, it's pulling GCI, it's pulling transaction amount. So I've already done that on the sell side and I've just done that by updating it in follow up boss. Uh, but I'm gonna do the same thing now on the buyer side. So if I had a tag here, um, which is buyer appointment met, I haven't actually created yet, but my team will have these created for you. Um, so you don't even have to worry about them. Uh, save those tags. This is what it's triggering off of. So uh, it usually takes a few minutes, but when you come back into that transaction, which previously only had a set date, now you're gonna see a met date. And this reflects back on the dashboard. So if I look at my dashboard on the sell side, um, you know, I can, let's pull this up for, a uh, different time range or a different agent. Uh, we're gonna go to the agent that we're working with here. And you can see that they have a listing appointment met, signed, under contract, and closed. And that's all done because this lead has progressed from set all the way through to closed in CSU. And that's just done through follow-up loss. So now we're gonna show you what that looks like on the buy side. So uh, let's see if it's updated with that appointment met date and it has so you'll notice I added that appointment met date tag and follow boss and now it's reflected on CSU and if I look at my dashboard here um, I'll have credit for that met appointment right you're seeing that right there so um, now we're going to progress it all the way through to close uh, using the deals portion of follow boss so I've created a listing deal for this client uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a buyer's deal so I'll call it Bob Marley buyer. Um, we're going to say that the transaction amount is, uh, let's say, 300000 The commission on that is 9000 This is gross commission that we're tracking in here. Uh, closing date, we'll call it uh, August 31st. And uh, we'll create that deal. So creating that deal as a buyer, as soon as that deal is created, Notice that's when you have a buyer contract and follow up boss. So we're signifying that we just got a buyer contract and we're kicking off this deal with our buyer here. Well, I'm going to see that reflected back on the CSU side 
um, as a signed date. I signed that buyer uh, on the day that I entered it into that follow-up box. So if I go and refresh here, uh, I should be seeing that signed date, and I am. So now as this deal progresses through my different pipelines in follow-up boss, so let's take a look here. Um, I'm gonna take this buyer and I'm gonna move them from buyer contract to pending. They now have an accepted offer on their home. Um, that's going to be reflected as the under contract. So now I'm gonna see that this buyer is under contract. Um, and if I refresh here, I should be seeing, and there it is. Now I can see that under contract date in there. So uh, progress it one step further. We'll go ahead and take this from pending. Uh, oops, wrong button. I could do it from here as well. Um, I guess just drag it over. I'm gonna count this as a closed deal now. Um, and we will see that reflected back on the dashboard. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, it's going to pull the date that you said it closed here. So uh, August 31st, um, as soon as that comes to a close, um, it will actually update that settlement. So it's gonna pull the settlement date in when you mark it closed. Uh, if that's in the future, you won't actually see it until it goes closed. So I've got my settlement date in here. Uh, once that's an actual live date, it will count it as closed. Um, so that's how it works. You can progress a deal from appointment set all the way through to closed in Sisu. Uh, see this back on your personal dashboards here. Um, we'll take one more look at this. So you see uh, we got signed all the way through to closing and then that buyer, which still has a date in the future, um, so it's not counting as closed yet, uh, but it will soon. So that's how the follow up boss connection works. Uh, there's some other things that can be done as well to integrate your follow up boss, some things that may need to be customized, uh, but this is the basic uh, idea behind the integration.